It is day nine of March Madness, and I have my magic circle so we can do our open leg rocker inspired magic circle mini workout. So grab your circle. We're going to start on our mats seated to start with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lasso my foot with my magic circle. I really like the pad of the magic circle kind of right on the balls of my feet. So I can kind of push into it a little bit. And what I want us to find, you can just kind of comfortably hold this circle, but what I want us to find is how, for me, if I don't do anything, my shoulders kind of went around forward in this position, right? So I have to actively pull my shoulder blades down and back. And then if I push a little with my foot, I have to do it even more because otherwise they want to come forward, right? So feel this opposition that happens. Feel how maybe you're looking at your circle like mine. It's like an oval instead of a circle, right? Because I'm pushing away with my foot. I'm anchoring my shoulder blades. Then I want us to play with a little roll through our back. So I want you to really focus on keeping the push of your foot in, shoulder blades anchored. And then you're going to roll brave, of course, maybe like an inhale. Try to curl your back down into the mat. Keep those shoulder blades anchored. And then come back up. Maybe just like tips of shoulder blades-ish. We won't lay our head all the way down. And then push to come back up. All right, let's just practice that. That roll back and just see how controlled you can do that action and how much of your back kind of gets to connect into the mat and then peel off of it. Foot is pushing away, shoulder blades are anchoring the whole time. Feels very strong in my arms as well. We should do like one more of those. Maybe an inhale as you rock back, exhale as you rock forward. And then on your next one, I do want you to go all the way down to the mat. So you're gonna go all the way, you're gonna let your head rest, and I just want you to get a little hamstring stretch. So depending on your tightness in your leg, you might need to pull the leg back towards you. This might be enough. You might feel like you need to bend your knee to be there, that's okay. As long as you're feeling a little stretch in the back of the leg, we're just gonna hang out for a few breaths, right? Just kind of breathing into that. Let that hip be nice and anchored. Um, another nice option, especially if those hamstrings are tight, is just to do a little bend and straighten while you're there. Just a little stretch to the back of our legs time. And then I'm gonna take the circle into my outside hand and I'm gonna take the leg out to the outside of my body. So I wanna inner thigh stretch. I wanna kind of test my uh, open leg rocker position and then come back in. Right. When you do this, try to keep your hips nice and anchored and just take the leg out to the side, wherever it feels like a little inner thigh stretch for you, wherever it feels like you can keep your hips nice and anchored. Let's do one more and let's just hold it out there. So this is just our stretchy moment. This is just play with using that circle as a place to hold that leg, take some breath. I still feel like I am working through this left side so that I don't just roll over, right? That I can anchor my hips into place and have that leg out there in space. And then I'm going to bring that leg back up and then we're going to roll up one more time here. Lift your head and curl up so we can do all of that on the other side. So lasso your left foot. Find where you want to be on there. Find that push away with your foot. Anchor your shoulders, pull your abs in so your back gets rounded. And then can we do that rock down and rock up? Remember, shoulder blades and reach through your foot all happening at the same time. And then we'll do it again. You know, add some breath. My other leg is just kind of nice and anchored. You could do a pointed foot or a flexed foot. See which one you like best. And back. Let's do one more full one of those. Shoulder blades, foot pushes away. Feel your abdominal muscles pull in to roll through your back. And then coming back up. And then on that next one, we'll stay back there. So we'll go ahead and roll back, stay there. And this is just your hamstring stretch. So for me, I could just be here. <laughs> you know, for some of you, you might want to pull the leg back towards you. You might want to do a bend and straighten and just see where you get. Just a little time to stretch the back of that leg. Take some nice deep breath as you're there. And really any, any of those variations that feel good in your body. And you're feeling that stretch up the back of the leg. All right, then we're going to 
take the circle in the outside hand, take that leg to the outside, try to keep this hip anchored, maybe find a little inner thigh stretch, and then bring the leg back. You could inhale out, and then exhale to come back. No right or wrong how wide you go, you're just, again, checking in on can I keep my hip stable, and then I find a little stretch in my inner thigh when I'm out there. Let's do one where we hold it. So we'll reach the leg out and just hold it there in space. Take a few breaths. Explore a little bit. You know, if you want to pull on the circle, you want to change with the angle a little bit. That's just going to change the stretch. When you're ready, you're going to come back to center. Go ahead and grab with both hands and we'll come all the way back up. Good. Take that circle out, roll down to the mat for me, bend your legs in, and put both feet in your magic circle. I kind of have my um, balls of the feet on the pad. They kind of have to split it. They don't quite fit. Uh, shoulders anchored. So remember the things we worked on just a second ago. Shoulder blades anchored. Point your feet. Pick your head up. See if you can push through your legs. Keep anchoring those shoulders and come up. There's our teaser. There's our open leg rocker. And then let's do it again. So see how controlled you can do that, right? If you need a little more momentum, that's okay. But kind of an extra fun place to practice that like slow roll through your back and come back up and really feel that oppositional work of those shoulders anchored, and those feet pressing away into the magic circle. We should do one more because those are just fun. Rock back and come back up. And then when you come up this time, go ahead, take your circle for me and put it in between your lower legs. So mine's going to be a little bit above my ankle bones. I'm going to take my hands back behind my thighs and I'm in my rolling like a ball balance, lifted C curve. Right? I got my magic circle. We're going to throw in a little inner thigh bonus here. So I want you to do squeeze two, three, four. Five, hopefully feeling those in your thighs, and then just hold your circle lightly as you rock. Keep the legs bent. Inhale to rock back. Exhale to rock forward. And then we'll squeeze two, three, four, five, and we'll do that rock and back up. Good. On your next one, if it is there for you, you can straighten your legs. If this feels impossible, then leave them bent and do it there. Squeeze two, three, four, five. Can we do that rock and back up? You decide where your hands are, but remember the feel of shoulder blades down and legs reaching away. See if you can do it here. One, two, three, four, five. Rock back, rock forward. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and bend your legs in. We're gonna do one more variation, so many fun ones today. Let's put our legs on the inside of our magic circle. We're gonna kind of repeat the little sequence we just did. So start with legs bent, hands behind the thighs. We're gonna hold this lifted C-curve and we're gonna press outward. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hold our legs in this position and rock. Inhale and exhale, hold at the top. One, two, three, four. Five. We'll rock back. Rock forward. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more of those. Rock. Bring it back up. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you can always stay here or if it's doable for you, you can move your hands up on your legs and straighten your legs. One, two, three, four, five. Remember that oppositional work as you rock back and forth. Hold at the top. One, two, three, four, five. Remember shoulder blades, feet reach away. Rock back, rock forward. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more. Rock, come forward. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome, bend your legs. Take your circle out. We're gonna finish today with our traditional open leg rocker. So options always, you could have those hands behind your legs here. You could have them here. If you need to bend knees, bend knees. Open the legs. Joe says you can open them as wide as you can. So you're going to open them. Find the opposition. Pull your shoulder blades down. Push your legs away. And then do your rock. Let's do four. Inhale. Big exhale to come back up. Inhale to rock back. 
exhale as you rock forward. Two more. Shoulder blades anchored, legs reaching away from you. Getting that round through your back. We have one last one. And then bring those legs back down. And then we are all done for today. Thank you for joining me for a little magic circle workout. I hope to see you tomorrow for some more magic circle fun.